Right here, we're going to talk about zoning. You can see we had an unusually warm day. It was a winter day, and we didn't even need the heat for 40 hours because the temperature was so warm from the greenhouse effect from opening the windows from the sun that the heat never kicked on from the thermostat. You could see we had the family room. It was 72 degrees. That's with the window open. You could see right here in the foyer with the sun, it was 95 to 100 plus. It was actually 75, 80, but with the sun hitting the thermometer, it said 95 to 100 and you could see right here in the kitchen with the oven on it was 75 and a half and the living room next to it or the family room was 72 degrees so it was a few degrees warmer and my bedroom upstairs uh it faces south so it gets the morning sun which is very hot and the blind with the blinds closed and it got up to 78 degrees that's how warm that winter day was and it, that's with the cl blinds closed and you can see the basement which doesn't matter to us but the basement was all it's always cold it was 64 degrees that's even with the heat on so you could see we had it unusually warm this is zoning different temperatures in each room because the thermostat wasn't coming on so it wasn't neutralizing the air and you could see here's the graph on january 12th it was of 2020 and we had that unusually warm night it was stayed 73 degrees in my room all night long without the heat that was bizarre we have the heat coming on at 69 I don't have the whole graph, but according to this thermometer, it usually comes on at 69, and it didn't even get below 70, and then it went back up, and that was at uh, 637 in the morning. It was just one degree away from hitting the thermostat, and then we went another 12 hours because the sun came out, and you could see this was the outside temp at 2 to 8 in the morning. It was about 64 all night long outside, and it was about 673 in my room all night long. It was a bizarre night. And here's another room zoning. You could see when we run the fireplace, because the thermostat's in, in the other room. It's still in a different room, but it's on the same floor, sort of near the living room by the fireplace. And you can see the fireplace, it got near 120 plus by the mantle. And, but it was actually 71 if you on the other side of the couch. You could see right here in my bedroom, it was about 66 degrees because the heat doesn't cycle on as much. And yeah, so usually you think heat rises, it does, but the heat didn't come on as much. So it, cool, it was cooler in my room. And also the bathroom was 64 degrees because we had the vent closed and then also you could see here's the graph we started at 5 30 it was about 68 degrees in my room because i don't have the vent all the way open i keep it halfway open because it gets too hot sometimes and then you could see within one hour we started the fireplace at 5 30 and by six o'clock it dropped one whole degree within a half hour hour and then slowly dropped down to by around 8 30 it dropped another degree so it took about four or five hours to drop a second degree and then you could see as i put in the closed room in the bathroom with the vent closed you could see it dropped two degrees instantly within 15 20 minutes and stayed like that for a half hour hour and then jump back up when i put it back in my room and then you could see as the fireplace ended the thermostat kicked back on and you could see it slowly went up a degree from around uh we stopped the fire around 11 o'clock so it was stable and then by 12 o'clock it got cool and cold in the house again and by 12 o'clock to about five in the morning it went up one degree so it took four hours for it to go back up one degree in my bedroom it's 78 degrees in the hallway upstairs it's very warm it's hot okay you can see we're in my parents bedroom and they have two vents so it's about a degree or two cooler in their room because they have two vents plus the vat the bathroom so they have three vents actually and she went to 79 when i picked it up so it's 79 and here it's 77 in their room so it's about a degree or two cooler with two vents and it's nice in my room it's 72 degrees in here He's out and it's 75 degrees downstairs. We're doing a room zoning. You can see right here in the basement, it's 66 degrees right here. It feels amazing down here. It's like the Arctic right over here. Well, not the Arctic, but it feels really good. I'm not even cold at 66 degrees. That's because it's so warm outside. Too bad there's not a way to bring this cool air up from the basement up through the house. Then you didn't have to run the air conditioner as much. Switch the pin from cool to off because I'm doing a zoning experiment now. See downstairs here in the kitchen, it's 72 degrees. We don't usually keep it this cool. We usually keep it like two, three degrees warmer. The hallway temperature upstairs is about 76, maybe on the edge of 77, 76 and a half. And right here in my room, it's 73 degrees. It's a... Uh, Degree warmer in my room upstairs than it is downstairs, but it's three degrees cooler in my room 
than it is in the hallway. This is we're doing a bedtime zoning experiment right now. So the average of the house right now is approximately the lowest is 72 and the highest 76. So it's approximately 74 degrees is the approximate temperature. Before bed, I want to cool it down a degree. So I'm going to put it down to maybe actually I'm going to put it down to 70. And then as soon as I get colder before I go to bed, I'll just up the temperature to 74, 75, whatever I want it to hold it at. Or I could try the sleep button. I'll decide in about an hour or two when I go to bed. I'm just starting to relax right now. And you can see the light goes off while I'm sleeping. This is what it's going to be on all night. Well, it's going to shut off every 10 minutes once it reaches the temperature I set it for. Okay, it's 2 o'clock in the morning now. I had to turn it down one degree. I had it set for 73 when I went to bed and now... I woke up at 73 degrees, it went up two, three degrees after I went to bed, it went to 70 to 73, and now it's too warm, so now they, I just turned it on to 72, and I had to wait five, six minutes for the compressor to come on, it doesn't come on instantly. Okay, it's now 3.35 in the morning, and unfortunately I can't fall back to sleep at two o'clock in the morning, I woke up, it was hot, the temperature is good, I put it down to 70 degrees, and I still can't fall asleep, the noise, listen. It's not too bad. I'm just having difficulty falling asleep. I even put the TV on. I'm still not fall able to fall asleep. Okay, you can see it's still about 76 degrees. That's right here in the bathroom with my toothbrush and stuff. And it's still pretty warm in the hallway. It's not too bad, but it's not comfortable for me for sleeping. I like it cool. I have it down to 70. And downstairs, we'll see what the temperature is. Probably 73, 74. It's saying it's about 72 degrees in here, which is pretty comfortable. And it's saying 67 degrees outside. The other thermometer is saying uh, 64. Still cooling this one. Thermometer is saying 64 degrees, which I was surprised that the air was still on. But I guess it wasn't moving around and we didn't cool it down enough. And that's probably why I can't sleep at hotels as good. The P Tech units, they have the units and they're blowing right in front of you, the heat pump or the, the blower air conditioner motor. It's now ramping up, it's been making a louder noise. Okay, it's now 4.07 in the morning. And you can see it finally shut off, finally, but it ramped up really loudly before it uh, calmed down, and then it got really quiet, and now it's shut off. It's on standby until it goes up a degree, but I'm going to turn it off because it's cooled down to 70 degrees. And I can't get too much sleep when it comes on the motor, so if I, if I need more air, unfortunately, I can't use this window air conditioner while I'm sleeping. I have to use central air, which I'm used to. If I had to, I could probably get used to, but it's going to take time, like days and days, but we generally use central air conditioning. You can see right here we're at Stop and Chop, and that's the Biddle air current right here. We could see the grocery carts right over here, and this prevents the air conditioning or the heat from going out the window. Right here at the mall, and you can see in between the sliding glass doors, right here this is good for in the summertime when it's like 90 degrees outside these airs come on it's motion centered it it keeps it cool it's like a climate control it keeps it like 72 in the other room and here they could have it like 75 80 it's not on right now because there's not too many people at this mall walking in Okay, right here we have a two-zone heating right here. 62, we're gonna pump it up to 69. We're upstairs and it says 62 degrees, and as you just saw, it's about 58, 59, so that's a four-degree temperature range, even though we still have it off. It's on the lowest setting at 48, 41 it's set for because we don't have it turned on, and it's 62 from the heat coming up downstairs. It's about 67 down here. Usually we keep it at 68, 69, but 67 feels good. Upstairs it feels good too. The heat rises, so it's up to 60. 69, 68. About zoning, we have about three uh, zones in here. One in here, it's a ductless mini split. It's a heat pump with an air conditioner combined. This is the living room. This does the whole uh, dining room and kitchen. Then we have one in the one bedroom, and then we have a ceiling cassette in the or heating cassette in the bathroom. Okay, we're here in the bedroom now, and this is the other zone. My video right here, we have the zone right here. This is a heat cadet right here. I'm gonna pump it up to 80 so it comes on for the video. It's fixed into the ceiling right there. Like if you have the square tiles in the basement, you can put that around there. 